everyone, welcome back to a new video. We finished silaging the barley yesterday. I don't have specs for you currently, I'll ask at supper time. <laughs> but we were able to start on the second cut of a valve today, and I'm just using the Draper header for that because it's longer. It's 35 feet. Actually, I'm only using 20 six and a half feet of it right now because the swaths are just too big for the chopper. But yeah, I use the draper header because we don't need it to crimp anything and crack the stem with the haybine header. It's got a crimper so that it cracks the stem of the plant, whatever you're cutting, be it grass, alfalfa, whatever, so that it dries out faster for hay. We're silaging this so we don't need that, which is why we're using the draper header. And it's twice the size of the haybine header, so that means I can get this done in half the amount of time it would take me to use the haybine header. You guys might also be wondering why you're only cutting 26 and a half feet of a 35 foot header. The chopper is on its last legs for this season. It's it's taken quite the beating. We've run it pretty hard. The crop has been pretty tough on it. It's not going to be long before it shits the bed, essentially. So I have to cut the swath a little bit thinner, like a smaller, not so heavy swath so that Jan doesn't have to worry about too much wear on there. It's also at the recommendation of our mechanic Brent, so smaller swath hopefully means lengthening the life of the chopper because we've had a couple of breakdowns now just regular wear and tear so yeah that's where we're at currently so I'm back at the dairy and if you guys remember a few weeks ago I mentioned in a video that we would be putting an expansion on the calf barn and as you can see here it has begun. So that really nice cement pad out front is gone. They got rid of it all. And the front is being demoed. And kind of sketchy. Things are just hanging out open. But essentially, look at that. This is going to be eight more pens, eight more pens, 16 in each room in total, and then 32 pens all in all across both rooms. And these little guys are going to be some of the most quiet, most loving little calves because they'll have dealt with all of this construction and they already seem to be pretty chill <laughs> just because of all the noise so they're really desensitized now Hi! Hello! minor problem here. This is starting to come up. Let's see if I can shove it back in there by myself. <laughs>
fixed. If I don't fix that quick enough, that means that the whole thing is gonna come out. And that's a really big problem to try and put back in. It's a pain in the butt. So, no matter what, this is the last day of silaging. We have pretty much everything we need. We're just doing a little bit extra. And then, yeah, gonna be done for 2024 silaging. That little canvas piece popping up out of the groove there is about the only problem I've had today other than molehills. There's a lot of molehills in the self alpha field. It's like three years old, I wanna say, give or take. Probably give a year. <laughs> But yeah, it's fairly old. The moles have had the run of it for the last little while just because when you have alfalfa, you don't disturb the soil, so. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. driving over to the dairy so that was cool but now I am cutting alfalfa for hay this time so we got the hay bind header on there so this is gonna help it to dry out faster hopefully kind of not too smart I think that we're cutting it right now because there's supposed to be rain in the forecast for tomorrow night but it keeps on getting pushed back so we're gonna hope and pray that it just keeps getting pushed back until this hay is dry. 